Today is Holy Monday of Holy Week, and this is the day when we acknowledge that Jesus went into the temple and he overturned the tables of the merchants and the money changers that were in the temple courts. Now, this was not because they were doing business there. But as he said, instead of making it a house of prayer for all nations, they were making it a den of robbers. The, the key here is not that doing business in the temple courts is making it a den of robbers. Rather, it's what they were doing to their fellow Jews. So a little bit of back history. When the Israelites had been enslaved in Egypt many, many years before, God had released them. He had redeemed them through uh, showing his might and power through 10 plagues. And the final one of these was the death of the firstborn, where the angel would go throughout Egypt and kill the firstborn, with the exception of those Israelites who had made a sacrifice of an unblemished lamb and spread that blood on their doorpost, the angel would pass over. So this happened. Pharaoh let them go. And God said, you will commemorate this every year, this Passover festival, as a festival to me to remember that I redeemed you. So fast forward here. We have all of these Jews coming into Jerusalem for the Passover festival. They travel great distances. They might have foreign currency, and they arrive here expecting to be able to purchase that unblemished lamb that God has required. And here's the problem. These merchants and the money exchangers are charging exorbitant rates. They are not just greedy. They are actually hurting the poorest of the poor. And this is the behavior that angers Jesus. This is what he says is not okay. And if we look at Micah 6, we get an indication of what God desires most of us, that justice, that mercy to walk humbly with our God. So as we consider this passage and and what Jesus did in the temple, I want to encourage you to think about how you might be hindering people from coming to worship God fully. How are you getting in the way of them coming as they are before him, humble and broken? God says, if we come to him and think we're in right condition, but we're treating our neighbor poorly, that's a problem. He needs us to deal with that first. We need to confess that and repent. But we also need to think about the rest of us. How do we need to be cleansed in order to rightfully worship God? As we move throughout Holy Week, think on these things.